<laughs> Funny enough, I detected all through this rock in here and I got no strong signals. I do have one weak one down by where the detector is and just on spec I think we'll dig it up. You hear this? It's right in there somewhere but there's no numbers coming up on the detector. So it's either very small or very deep. I think it's right in there. Come on. Good morning. Welcome to the rock. Here it is. All cleaned up. But there's quite a bit of calcite in this rock. What do you say we put it for a short while in white table vinegar to expose some more of the silver. If any of the little pieces just fall off, well, we'll save those for refining at a different date. So the bubbling is the calcite being etched. We'll leave it for a few days. Six pound rock tumbler, plastic tumbler beads, Ceramic meter, silicon carbide. wasn't able to shine this up very much so that is not silver that is probably a cobalt mineral called safflorite there is some silver in here though see these ones down in here see right in here shinier that's silver so let's put this back into the vinegar and etch it some more just to expose what we can Well, that was silver. I'll send it to the refinery. Well, we're getting more interesting. Of course, we have the safflorite and the previously exposed silver, but there's more silver coming through in behind. See how shiny it is? Getting exciting. There we go. It is looking cool. With even more silver in here showing. My wife thinks it looks like an ice cream sandwich. Well, let's put it back in. See what else we can expose. Well, it's been three weeks, and I'm going to stop this little experiment. Whenever I etch, I always hope for something special to emerge from the rock, you know, that was hidden in behind the calcite. And I think this time, 
we got something kind of cool. I'm seeing, see down in here and other places in the rock, there's some minute crystals. I'm also getting little bits of silver that are very delicate. And as I continue to etch, they're falling off. There is some wire silver there for sure. Just little hairs of it. And then elsewhere in the rock, let me show you. See down in here, they're like a clear crystal. It may be silver. And if it's not, I'm not sure what it is. Look at that blade of silver right there too. Isn't that neat? Hopefully you can see it. So I'm going to set that to one side for now. One last thing to show you is here are the rock that's left over from the solution. And there is silver in the pan. Quite a bit actually. It's looking like a little snowflake. This material will go to a fellow who's going to do a melt and make a silver bar. So in the meantime Thank you so much for watching, and we'll do something fun again soon. Keep well.